Hello, my name is Rüdiger Eichholz. I'm from Stuttgart in Germany. We are at Friedrichshafen at the moment in the Bodensee Sport Clinic, an orthopedic clinic where we do shoulder surgery. And uh, every patient gets a regional anesthesia, in this case an interscalene block with a catheter. We do this ultrasound guided and I've got a little uh, probe here and this uh, probe is um, um, quite cool because it connects um, with Wi-Fi to an iPad which I use as an ultrasound monitor and this one has another very special feature because it is a two-in-one probe. It has got one linear section and also a face array and depending on the preset it kind of automatically switches between the two. And, um, in order to demonstrate this, I will quickly assess the diaphragmatic function before the intercalene block. And I do this in an abdomen preset. Jetzt wird es mal kurz ein bisschen kalt. Okay. I put the probe on, the marker is directed towards the mattress and uh, now the image is frozen and I can actually put on some voice controls and uh, tell the machine freeze and now it will defreeze. Now I've got a standard image. I could again optimize the image by voice control like uh, decrease depth or increase gain or like uh, color mode. Then I get uh, the color mode B mode. And I also can start a video clip by capture video now the video is uh, started. Take some, uh, können Sie tief ein- und ausatmen? Richtig tief atmen? Yes, we've got a dirty curtain coming in. Wieder ausatmen. Das sieht alles sehr gut aus. So this is a normal diaphragmatic function. Capture video. We'll stop the video. M mode. Okay, capture video. Jetzt mal richtig tief atmen. Und ausatmen. Yeah, very nice diaphragmatic function. That's all to tell us that as expected, the diaphragm uh, works totally um, in a normal way. B mode, excellent. And capture video will stop the video. I do pre-scan, the marker is directed to my own left eye in order to have the right image orientation. And of course, I need to optimize the image again. I also can, of course, touch the touch screen or I could use some buttons that are on the probe. The um, subclavian artery in the center of the image, that is what I want. Capture video. And now I go up and follow the brachial plexus into the interscaling groove. Sometimes there are some vessels, the vertebral vessels are right in the center of the image right now. Color mode, here they are. B mode. And uh, I've got the C7 spinal nerve in the transverse process. This is C6 and this is C5 and ultimately this is C4. Capture video. And now I follow the uh, C4 nerves into what we call the cervical nerves pathway. And I can't really uh, see them really well at the moment. However, I still can um, block them in the cervical nerve pathway just underneath the sternocleidal muscle. Es wird nochmal kalt bei Ihnen. Und die Lokale. I keep my distance between the needle and the probe, of course, for uh, sterility or hygiene reasons. Es gibt hier mal einen kleinen Pix an der Haut. Okay. Capture video. I insert the needle, go under the probe, and now I inject a little bit and split all the horizontal fascia layers. Then I take the probe off, go subcutaneously and tunnel subcutaneously in the direction where the catheter will be inserted in a minute. Now we will keep on doing some preparations for the sterile field.